How you doing out there, all you bat cage dwellers? The unknown bass player coming at you. I'm gonna show a short video when I got started making these guitars. When I first got started, I didn't have anything, didn't really know much about it. Researched it a little bit. I showed you the first guitar I made. I'm gonna show you how I bent that. I stood over that wood burner, had her fired up as hot as she'd go. Took a piece of a side, threw it over the top of it with a spray bottle, actually in the back where it was the hottest. I bent the sides. Bent them around the pipe, had a couple pieces of pipe laying there that I bent them around to finish to finish what the, the shape I needed. Had a pattern, I kept laying it down, bending it, laying it down, bending it, used nothing but a spray bottle and a wood burner. And Lord tell you, it was hot. I thought I'd done died, went you know where. But they got the job done. Okay, you know, there's got to be a better way. So I'm going to show you some of the other things I did. I had to make just about everything. Tried not to buy nothing. We're on the other side of the shop now. And after standing over that wood runner, you know, got to be a better way. So I came up with this idea. I made these trays, welded these trays up. This one's a little big. This is the first one I done. Welded those up. The next one I did, put some pads on the bottom so it would transfer the heat better, keep from warping, made it not as deep, just a hair wider. What I did, and the better half didn't care for this, put them on the stove, filled them with water, took the sides, dropped them in there, brought them to a good boil, got kind of soft. When they got to the point where I could actually bend them, I thought they were mushy enough or whatever term you want to use. I put them in a jig that I made. I made all the jigs. And you can see how thick they are. That's what I started with. So I put it in the jig and actually bent it on the inside of the jig and clamped it with clamps as I went along. That's the only way I knew how to shape it. So I did that for a few guitars. That was a big jumble like a Gibson. This is like a Martin. Same thing. I put legs on this one so I could get it up off of the table a little bit higher. Same thing. Put it inside there. Bend it around it. Tied them down as we went. Worked out pretty good. Did several guitars like that. But the jigs were getting so heavy and everybody's wanting something different so i made a couple for my nieces and nephews made smaller bodies you can see them over there this is a d28 copy body but what i done on these to lighten them up i used plywood Cut them out and shaped them. Clamped them and drilled the hole so they'd be perfectly lined up. Put dowel pins in them. Fastened them on one end, one side. Glued them in. Then, if I had a wider body or a smaller body, I'd put these shims in it to raise it up or lower it. To make a different size body. Like here's one I made out of a piece of tiger wood. You can see how little it is. 
Now, this would have been a rosewood one. You can see the difference in them. This was made, there went the jigs. This was made for a smaller person. This was made for a full size guitar. Worked out pretty decent. Well, it was still getting a problem bending them like that because I was still bending them by hand. So I really didn't know what to do. So then I came up with, I made a steam box. Bought a steel gas can, drilled a hole in it, put holes on it, put a quick connect on here. So I could put it on, put the can on the stove, fill it with water, put the steam in the box, soften the sides up to bend them. But I was still bending my hand. So I got the research and vendors, a man, oh man, if anybody's done it, they're, they are expensive. And I wasn't about to pay that kind of money. So, I made this bender. Use 100 watt light bulbs. Shaped it. You can see I put a thumb screw like on top so I could turn it down and this depresses onto the thing puts the crease in it. But then you're wondering what good does that do because there's nothing in there to shape it. Then I made these jigs. They slide into that bender after you soften them. They go on there like that. When they slide in, you crank it down. This slides into here, like so. This bends down on the front, holds the front piece down here. This will come down over the back. And the springs here, hold the tension on it. Then you crank this down and it puts the crease in the center, bends it. Actually worked out pretty well. And put them in there and I got these things here to where it slides in and locks in so it didn't move. Seems to do a pretty good job. Been a lot of sides. Made several guitars out of that. Best I could do with what I had. And it worked out pretty well. Still doing it. So I appreciate you listening to this video. If you like it, hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you. Oh, no bass player back at you. I want to show you some of the things I made to do the bracing on. I made this thing right here. I got a store-bought brace. Got the radius on it. Took a flush bit grind, uh, router, shaped this piece of plywood board. Took these clamps, screwed them on there. Now I just take a piece of stock, I put it in there like so. Bring these clamps down on it. And they are adjustable. I can take them out, bring them in right there, like this one's way out. Clamp it down. Put it on the board. Now holds that board in place. Then I take it, lay it on the router table, and go. It shakes the stock. 
gives you a perfect radius on every piece. I put handles on the back so it's easier to hold. Grab hold them handles like so. There's a piece of stock in there. And actually I cut it down to the right size. Put it in there, take it across the router with the flush bin on it. Perfect radius every time. Basically the same thing I did with this. This board here is for the sides. Now they're not just the same from one end to the other. So I, I radius this board by using a already done Martin piece of stock. I put this board on here or a board like so. Take a flush bit router just a regular old router, clamp this down, take it and run it across there. Perfect stock every time. If your pattern's right. You know what they say, practice don't make perfect, practice makes habits. So you got to be perfect to make it perfect. And with that being said, it's perfect, this is close enough. Here's an apparatus I made to bend fret wire you put the fret wire in there crank it down to the desired curvature turn this handle and it forces it right on through those bearings puts the right bend in it every time put put the bend in it that you set we'll put it that way i've used it my friends used it Seems to work out. There's all kinds of other options out there. This is what I did. I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you.